Money Smart Week is a financial education campaign that aims to motivate and empower South Africans to educate themselves about their finances. We caught up with one of this year's campaign ambassadors, media personality and musician, Proverb, who shared his thoughts on money management and why he chose to partner with the initiative. Hey, this is Proverb, proud ambassador of the Money Smart Week South Africa. The reason I decided to be a part of this wonderful initiative is because I've made many blunders, you know. I've made many financial mistakes. I've learned some hard lessons. And I realized that these are mistakes I possibly could have avoided had I been better informed, had I been in a better position. So I've made it my responsibility to help stimulate the conversation, which is why I really love this initiative. So my personal journey with money actually dates back to when I was a youngster and it was observing my parents and their behavior around money. I tried to learn a lot of those lessons, but in my teenage years, I made plenty of mistakes. I was so focused on instant gratification, but now I know a little bit better. I know about saving for a rainy day, saving for the future, investments and the like, and I look forward to imparting some of those gems within this initiative. So what I know now that I wish I knew then is about saving for the rainy day, is about investments and just planning more long term over instant gratification. So between my property investments, between making use of the financial services at my disposal, I've just come to appreciate putting money away, letting it work for me, as opposed to slaving over it and then using it all up immediately. Although banks have sound security measures in place to protect their customers against fraud, criminals know this and resort to manipulative tactics to defraud bank customers. For organizations like the South African Banking Risk Information Center, the campaign is the perfect opportunity to educate. Sabric was created by the banks so that the banks would be able to collaborate as an industry with law enforcement to combat crime. And part of our strategy to combat crime is to create awareness about the types of criminal activity that's out there. So Money Smart Week is about educating individuals about how to transact and how to be safe. When we talk about card swapping, card swapping is really about a criminal trying to get his hands on your card so that he could perform some illegal transactions. And there are two key things that they try and do in order to distract you to get their hands on your card. The first one is they're going to change the language that's displayed on the ATM. So typically, if you're an English-speaking person, you approach an ATM and you find it in Afrikaans, you're going to get confused. You're going to try and fiddle out how is it that you are able to change this language back. And in that process, they're going to try and swap your card out. The second one that's a common one is where they change the settings on the ATM to make the device a contactless transaction. In other words, when you try and insert your card, the card's not going to go into the device. And the moment you find yourself a little bit flustered around why isn't this working, they move in and they're going to swap your card out. So it's all about distracting you in order to get their hands on that card. Smishing is really the technique involving using an SMS in order to engage somebody into a transaction. What they do is they would send you an SMS and the SMS would typically give you an instruction. Call a number in order to validate a transaction or click this link. Now, when you do click the link, it usually embeds malware into your device or alternatively takes you to a site where it prompts you to capture information. And this is really a spoofed site. On the other hand, it could also prompt you to call a number. And when you call this number, they begin to engage you in order to use social engineering to get information out of you. And they use this information to commit further crimes. If you are unsure where it originates, call your bank. Don't call the number on the text itself. Go independently, find the number of your bank, communicate with your bank, and they will be able to validate whether they sent you that message or not. But whatever you do, don't engage with the person that sends you that SMS. Mule accounts, and Mule accounts is really a process of convincing you to become a money launderer. It's something you need to be really careful of. Now, it's important for you to know Money laundering is a crime. It's criminalized in South Africa. It carries serious penalties, and you could go to jail or pay a fine that runs into hundreds of millions of rands. So it's very important you stay away from becoming a money mule. 
And in order to do this, there's a few basic rules. Never ever open your account and hand control of the account to anybody. If you open the account, the account is within your control. Number two, never ever allow somebody to pay you so that they are able to create profiles with banks in your name so that they are able to send money into these accounts. That's a crime. And number three, never entertain any requests in order to receive money in your own account on behalf of somebody else where you don't know the source of that money. Because all too often, some of that money originates from criminal activity. And the moment your name and your account is connected to laundering that money, you become the target of criminal investigations. So very serious offense, stay away from such activities. Capitech is supporting this year's Money Smart Week campaign with a focus on bank safety and information to help South Africans safeguard their money and avoid fraud. It's important for Capitec that all people are educated and empowered about banking, financial lives, and really to live better and bank better. The fraud syndicates out there are really busy stealing from vulnerable people. They don't discriminate against age, race, anything like that. So part of this initiative is from a fraud perspective to really educate people on the dangers out there and how to avoid falling victim to these fraud syndicates. Based on the research and experience at Capitec, we've noticed that there's definitely an increase in the digital fraud landscape where more and more of our clients are targeted by wishing and phishing fraud to steal money from the digital channels such as mobile banking and remote banking. Vishing, where it's a voice call from a fraud syndicate to a consumer. The fraudster might have client information that they got somewhere, they build trust, they build a bit of rapport, and eventually they get the consumer to actually share their personal information with the fraudster on the line, believing the caller to be the bank. No bank will ever call you to confirm personal information, to ask for your PIN number, to ask you to authorize transactions via telephone. So when you get a call like that, Drop the call, do not share any personal information. They want to steal your money, so please be vigilant. These syndicates are very busy at the moment. Another fraud type that's well known in the industry is phishing, where the fraudsters will send a link by an email. The email looks legitimate. It could be a bank name that they use. Mostly they add a reward to that. It's either a price you won, it could be an overseas inheritance that someone left for you. You, you click on the link and provide your details to confirm such a reward or inheritance. In some incidents, they use SARS. To get a refund, you have to enter your details. So no bank will ever send you that link to click on and provide your personal details. And you should really not enter your details on any other link or website other than your bank's official one. Hand in hand with that is online scams. It could be a puppy that you see online somewhere on a platform, social media, a vehicle that you want to purchase. And I think the old saying of, if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true, should apply here. And consumers should really be careful before paying for goods or services online without verifying the source of that and really making sure you're not gonna lose your money after paying it. So my advice to South Africans would be, let's have the tough conversations. Let's start talking about money. Let's also take advantage of these initiatives at our disposal, like uh, the Money Smart Week initiative. So just go to mswsa.co.za, participate in some of the initiatives there. And you know what? Let's uh, get South Africa talking about money. Education is key and opening a dialogue about finances is the first step. Money Smart Week South Africa runs from the 22nd to the 28th of March and it's completely free to participate. For more information, visit mswsa.co.za, which is a zero-rated site, meaning it won't cost you any data to browse.